Hey, welcome back, fellow stackers. Silver Gold Man here, aka Connecting Dots. It is Friday, July 10th, 2015. Okay, folks, I, I've got a couple of stories here to share with you. And um, yeah, something's not right. Okay, let's start off first. Did you see this video uploaded 19 hours ago yesterday? China bans all major stock sales for six months. Folks, this is big, big news. I don't know if you're good at connecting dots and pieces of information, but this is massive. This is insider tra trading, uh, CEOs and representatives of major corporations, anyone who owns 5% or more in any company. You cannot sell those stocks for six months. Major, major news. Anyways, I know the links are down below. It's also over at my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, Silver Shields, I get in with that because people often ask me, who can we go join up here? Do you know any other good guys? Well, I'll share with you something, my little incident with somebody I thought was good. Okay, so here's the deal here, folks. As I've been mentioning since the very beginning that it's in the best interest of the European Union to get Greece back on board. And I was mentioning how I was given kudos, thumbs up, to the Greek Prime Minister for putting up a referendum so the Greeks could get the vote on it. Houston, I think he, he pulled a switcheroo on him. No, honestly, I mean, if you guys don't know what a switcheroo, well, yeah, what, he changed gears on him. He was going one way and he flipped. So this story here, you can see her uh, updated. It just, she's fresh off the press. France's uh, president here, Francois Hollande, says the latest proposals for reforms by the Greek government were serious and credible. <laughs> really? Wait till you see here. And said talks between Greece and international creditors must now resume with the aim of reaching a deal. You betcha. They are very concerned. And will they reach a deal? I don't know. Wait till you see here. There, there's some funny business going on, you know. If you've been around politics long enough, maybe after 10 or 15 or 20 years or 30 years of paying attention or maybe 40 years, I don't know how old you are, but you must have noticed that we have these politicians who go up there and it's always blah, 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 blah. We're going to fix it up and it's going to get better and then it just keeps getting worse. And why is that? Because we've realized it, that the politicians are controlled by corporations. The corporations have taken control of our governments. You guys know that, right? I hope so. I think the majority of my subscribers are people around, been around for long enough. That's I like that about Google Analytics. It shows me that the majority of you following me are between the ages of 45 to 75. So it's not like you're a bunch of spring chickens. And if you are a younger person, well, then you hang tight. You're going to learn here from the groove as we start exploring this stuff. I'm not called connecting dots for nothing here. I predicted that September 2008 stock market crash six months before by connecting dots. So here, another story, Greece debt crisis, Eurogroup says new plan thorough. And you know who is this brought by? BBC, your Rothschild News Corporation. Anyways, I'm, I don't want to digress, but this is important here because your, your news is not giving you the real news. You guys realize that, right? They're playing around with bullshit. They're not really connecting the dots like I do or else they'd be accurate as often as I am. So... <clears throat> A top Eurozone official says Greece has submitted a thorough proposals aimed at getting a vital third bailout and adver adverting a possible exit from the Euro. Are they going to exit? I have a feeling uh, they're going to exit, but I don't know. The latest deal, there's some funny stuff here. I'm telling you, I was looking at his face. I'm like, what? And I mean, looking at his face because this whole deal was a four-hour meeting. A four-hour meeting? A four-hour meeting and it's already approved the new plan? Holy jumping, are you freaking serious? Come on, give me a freaking break. Come on, how, how long were the... The last time, folks, they went in for this summit meeting, how long were they in there? Not four hours, days, days, a week. Come on, give me a break. Four hours? Come on. And now he's imploring Cizera, a party, to accept the austerity and back reforms. Oh, what, what reforms are they, you wonder? Oh, yeah, honestly... This is where you realize if you're new to politics, you want to hang tight because these pieces of shit here, and that's the one thing I like about um, the, the gentleman who passed away, Bob Chapman. He was very upfront. He said, everyone in the Senate, in your house, needs to be kicked out of there. Most of them are corrupt. He says, clean the whole Senate. They all need to be kicked out of the Senate. Not a single one of them back in office. Kick them all out. 
He says, then you may have a chance of regaining some proper politics. And he's referring to the American politics. But the same thing applies here in Canada and every other country. We're controlled by corporations. They pay these people. There's backhand deals where people are sliding money into other people's pockets. And we don't know about it because it's cash. It's not like they're using the bitcoins, which is not even secret to begin with. But like I say, it's fraud on a massive sale a scale. And let's... Let's just go back down here for a second, okay? He, he's, the, the article says, decide for yourself. It's Sipiraz made a U-turn. He did make a U-turn. There's no doubt about it here, as far as I'm concerned. How similar are the proposals? Okay, well, they commit to saving 12 billion, oh, I hate these ads, 12 billion euros over two years. Scrapping discount rates of VAT for Greek islands, designed to offset the higher cost of living there. So if you're living on the Greek islands, Arrivederci, you're not going to get that. Increasing income tax from 11% to 15%. Increasing the retirement age to 67. Increasing corporation taxes to 28%. So guess what? If you're a corporation, are you going to want to hang around in Greece? Of course not. Nothing's changed. It's the same bullshit, and they're shaking hands over it, and he's telling, trying to get his parties, yeah, let, let's approve it. I don't think so. I don't think so. I... I it may be approved here, and that would only be because we have a bunch of corrupt, you know what, politicians. And it, it wouldn't surprise me one bit, folks. I'm not a spring chicken. Uh, I mentioned before I've been watching the, the whole pol political scene ever since I was about eight years old and taught myself how to read English. And I'm like, whoa, hold on a second here. After years of it, you kind of get wisened up to it, and you realize there's bullshit coming on. And this is why I was trying to warn people People, you need to be aware of this because the fact that we have the Chinese that are now locking up these uh, sales of stock shares for six months, this is never heard of before. I've never heard of anyone, any country banning the sale of your stocks. Uh, um, anyways, these business and humanitarian organizations are warning that social and commercial damage uh, now evident could become deeper and longer lasting if Greece and its international creditors cannot finally come out, come to terms on a new bailout package. So, did he play a switcheroo because he's afraid of what's going to take place if they don't accept it? Because like I said, if they don't accept it, I guarantee you, we are falling into that second leg of the stock market crash that I was warning in 2008. I warned of that crash six months before, and I said, folks, in that forum, um, I, I, the links are down below in this, th in this uh, video if you want to watch it. But I was saying in that forum, we're going to get a double whammy. We're first, I was predicting the, the 2008 stock market crash, and I said there will be a second one, and I believe the second one would take place in 2012. Obviously, I'm wrong on my timing, but... We have problems here, and I'm not sure if you even caught the videos I uploaded yesterday, but um, the, the stock market crash, a glitch? Come on. I don't think there's a glitch. I think they're, they're trying to set things up because they can see the shit's about to hit the fan, and they're getting the triggers ready so they can stop it when there is a massive unload of shares. So someone even mentioned today in one of the traders, I'm not going to say his name, but he was mentioning how some of the um, brokerage are having a hard time doing your executions the executions that means when you're buying or selling a trade it's not working so what can i say i'm concerned things are going to get much worse and um you'll have to join me tonight i do these live google hangouts that would be at 9 p.m eastern time 7 p.m mountain time 6 p.m on the pacific coast i do them every night here at the silver gold man youtube channel and um, hope to catch you here live and someone was mentioning you have anyone you can call out as a good follower well not this guy unfortunately you know i went and just i'm looking here i've been teaching myself all these different candlesticks and how to read technical analysis i went and watched his latest video he uploaded because he's talking about apple i'm like oh well, that's neat he said apple wouldn't go anywhere today and i'm like whoa hold on a second you're wrong about that so i gave him a thumbs down no but but it gets worse than that click here for the free report don't click folks See, he couldn't leave you, I'll email it to you, but what he does, he throws you on a mailing list. Instead of just leaving a link to his channel where folks could, you know, to his website where they could download the free report, he's now, well, as you can see here, he's saying he's coming up from it. I apologize for that. I will send you the guy in a private message. And there's an unsubscribe link at the bottom of your area. What he's doing, he's trying to switch the conversation around because I've been, I've had many comments with him. I said, no, 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 forget the five tools because I said five tools at first. He said, no, no, I'm only offering three. I said, well, for, okay, great, you're offering three. The fact is you're sucking people in and to linking up to a mailing list. He can't be up front. So my five cents 
Clay Trader is another one like the rest. They can't be upfront about their shit. Sierra, sayonara, bye-bye. We don't have time for you guys.